Boric here from Beware. I just wanted to have a quick chat with you. It's Saturday. It is officially uh, the 1st of August, and this is when B season starts. So you want to make sure that you are um, you are ready for B season. It's not the 1st of September. It's not springtime. It's not spring day. B season officially starts now, today, as of right now. So hopefully you have already got your... Uh, catch boxes ready, you've got your bee suits, you've got your gloves, you've got your half tools, your smokers out of the cupboard and it's been dusted off and it's been repaired and looked after, double checked over in case there's been any moths that got into your bee suit or your bee gloves or any rats or any mice or whatever have, have chewed holes in any of that stuff. Make sure that all of your equipment's in top gear and ready for action because as of today it's officially bee season is open in South Africa. So uh, make sure you've got catch boxes placed in the right in the right locations and above 1.5 meters if if you if you can if that's a, a possibility. Um, make sure that you are baiting your your catch boxes. Use old catch boxes if you can get hold of them off Gumtree and off uh, you know beekeepers that are retiring or, or, or no longer keeping bee, bees anymore. Make sure that you're getting all that kind of equipment in place now. You can get swarm lures from us in, in Midrand. But right now it's bee season and you want to get involved with it. If you want to get more information about how to get bees right now, how to catch bees, tracking swarms, then uh, you can get a hold of our uh, Beginners Masterclass online course. And uh, there's a link in the bottom here for that if you want to get involved with that. But the best thing right now, guys, is using lemongrass and or swarm swarm lures that we sell at the shop in Midrand and uh, make sure you're placing your hive either on the roofs of your garage or of sheds or in trees that are at least 1.5 meters up and the reason for that is that the stronger colonies that are trekking right now are going to be uh, they prefer a higher level of of, of um, accommodation you know for want of a better word so what I would recommend is that the higher your, your catch boxes are, the stronger and bigger the tracking colonies are going to be, swarms that are going to be that move into your, into your catch boxes. And this is the reason, the main reason why we talk about putting your uh, catch boxes above ground. The lower the colony, the, the lower the catch box is going to be, the weaker the colony is likely to be that moves into that, into that catch box. This has been scientifically proven and it's something that I've tested myself over many years. So do yourself a favor. Here's a top tip uh, with regards to putting your catch boxes out. Make sure you've raised them off the ground and about 1.5 meters is probably a, as efficient as, as you need to be, need to go in regards to that. And then, uh, yeah, just make sure that you um, remove, as soon as bees have moved in, remove them and put them in, a, in the place that you want them within 24 hours. Don't wait longer than that because otherwise the bees are going to get disorientated and only do that at night when all the workers are back. Uh, where all the foragers are back in the hive. Um, so if you want any more information get, uh, to get started with beekeeping or if you're unsure about how to get bees, how to attract bees, then get on my website, get on the, on the, uh, on the Beginner's Masterclass course. It's only $17 right now. We have to charge dollars because of the way that the pr payment processor works. But um, come learn how to get bees. Can find out how you can catch bees right now they're free as long as you've got catch boxes or even brood boxes but brood boxes are too big a space which is something i'll cover why it's such a big space and why it's not recommended to use catch uh, brood boxes as catch boxes you can but there's a reason that there's a very particular science behind the reason why that's not recommended um so yeah join us on the course or come and have a look at all of our posts on the facebook group where you are now and uh, check your inbox if you want to subscribe www.beware.co.za forward slash subscribe there's free articles on there for you to watch and uh, read and there's loads of tips and articles it's email email series delivered to your inbox okay warwick from beware out hope you guys have an awesome weekend and it's officially bee season welcome to it let's go let's go make honey ciao